Hi everyone. If you're like me and like taking photos with your iPhone, assuming you have an iPhone, when you go to edit it, so you're in the photo app and then you, you know, go into edit. I'm sure many of you have done that. And if not, I'll do a video on editing in just a moment so you can check that out later. But there's a setting on it called brilliance. Now, I use Lightroom and I use Photoshop and I've used other editing software and I've not seen this feature. I've seen things like exposure, highlights, shadows, contrast, but not brilliance. So I wanted to know what brilliance actually does. So what I'm going to do is here on my phone, I've got this photo here. It's it was snowing recently, so it's got a lot of bright in the image. It's also got a dark bit down here. That's our shed and it's in the shadows. So what Brilliance is going to do is it's going to brighten up the dark areas and also at the same time reduce the brightness in the bright areas as opposed to contrast, which makes brighter areas brighter and darker areas darker. So this does the opposite. So let's just see what happens. So here I'm going to tap on the photo. I'm just going to tap on edit here and you get your options. So you've got your auto button, which is quite useful that you've then got your exposure. You've then got brilliance. Okay, so let's just use that and you've got your slider down the bottom here. So let's see what's happening when I increase the brilliance. And we're going to just take a look at the shadow here down in the bottom corner, bottom left hand corner. Watch what happens when I slide that across. Can you see it's making that area there brighter? Okay, let's go all the way. Can you see it's made that brighter there? So that's the shadow. If I did the opposite, if I go negative, it's going to make it darker. But we're interested in going higher. So you can see it changes that. Okay, what happens with the bright areas? So let's just take a look at that. So if I increase it, you'll see in the snow in particular, it's making it a bit darker, but not too much. These are kind of subtle changes. Let me just go back to zero. Let's go back again. Let's just see what happens. So you can see all the bright areas are getting slightly darker. And if you look at the sky, it's adding in a bit of richness there. OK, so I'm just sliding back and forth so you can see it. So let's just go back to zero. Let's just go there. OK, and now let me just slide across and see what happens. Now, if I want to compare it before and after, if I type it, it says 73 there. I'm going to just tap on that. That turns it off. That's before, tap on, after, before and after. And you can use that on any of the controls here. Now, you can always cancel it. And when you're editing anything on your iPhone or on many devices and programs such as Lightroom, when you do make a change, it doesn't change the original. You can always go back. The same even if you crop. So it's called non-destructive editing because you can always go back. So if I tap on done, that's now going to save it. Just so you know, if I want to, I can go back to edit and you can see there's a button here that says revert. If I change anything, such as the exposure, it then changes back to done and I could just hit cancel on it. So that's what Brilliance does. If you want to know more about editing your photos on your iPhone or even on your iPad, this does work on the iPad as well in the same way, but you get a bigger screen so it can be easier to use. You can also make these changes using the photo app on your Mac if you have a Mac. Thanks for watching. If you do like this, please do like, share and subscribe and come back for more.